everyone today I'm going to show you a very cool uh, OBD device and these things are on the market for a long time but this is something better than the usual ones and uh, I really like this so I'm just going to take it out of the box right now and it's kind of cute very small very light it's almost as big as just the connector is but the best thing uh, when you take this out of the box and you will notice it right away is the on off button and this is very important because uh, what happens with most of uh, these kind of devices they do not have a means to turn on or off and you need to plug them in or take them out and with no means of uh, shutting them off they will actually drain your battery uh, as they will keep running and running as most OBD ports Although they are not communicating with your car uh, controller, uh, they still are supplied with continuous 2, 12 volts from the battery, so they will drain your battery and leave this thing plugged in for several days and your car might not start and you may wonder why. Well, it can be because of using this type of devices that do not have a switch to power on or off. And as you can see, it's a huge difference size-wise, uh, while our test subject is really tiny, this generic no-name adapter is huge. They both use the same connector as they are the same protocol, but the case and the circuit board, it's enormous. And they actually do the same stuff, there is no difference, no future difference between them. Only that this one actually doesn't have a power button, so it will run all the time. So now I'm going to plug in the OBD adapter and I'm going to go for a drive and I'm going to show you what things you can achieve with it. Not only read fault codes, but uh, you can actually do some really nice stuff such as live monitoring and on this car because it's a plug-in hybrid which is part electric part gasoline. You can see a lot more things that you don't actually see while you drive it because this car, this is not a rev meter so you never know how fast for example your engine is spinning that's a power meter for the generator and doesn't have anything to do with the rev meter on a regular car that's just an example you can actually see all that stuff with this so I'm going to go to the video now and as you can see uh, there are various apps that work on uh, this uh, device so uh, you can see uh, how the car is going in hybrid mode, electric mode, how it's recovering energy and uh, how much power you are drawing with the motors and also you can use gen generic apps such as Torque which is uh, very well known on uh, this type of devices and runs with almost all adapters but it's a very good software and I recommend to get this one also and you can check a lot of stuff here and it's very nice to uh, see um, a lot of other indicators and you can build your own custom indicators and you can uh, use the app as a uh, HUD device you can reflect that on a paper use your phone to project it on your windshield if you want to you can do a lot of stuff or you can record the video like I did here and overlay to your drive video and make the videos really interesting such as uh, racing telemetry or stuff like that and the possibilities are limitless so that was it for now I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, review um, this uh, producer this seller that uh, has this device also has a lot more stuff and usually has better quality stuff than the regular things that you buy cheap so uh, be sure to give it a visit, check what other products uh, does he offer and maybe you will find something else interesting. I really liked this as I was having the old interface and I was always hitting it with my leg while driving. This fits there perfectly and I can always shut it off so it will not drain my battery power. So until my next review, see you and bye bye.